If you're not using Google Tag Manager for your website, then you're missing out on a whole bunch of opportunity around the way that you deploy code on your website, page speed, but also it just makes it so much easier to manage. So in this really short video, I'm gonna walk you through some of the things that you need to know if you are just learning about Google Tag Manager for the first time. Let's go ahead and dive into it. Before you get started, make sure to click the notification bell and make sure to subscribe so that you can get more videos like this in the future. Okay, so if you don't know what Google Tag Manager is, it's basically a way to deploy certain types of code on your website. And the great thing about Google Tag Manager is by putting Google Tag Manager on your site, you can have certain code fire on certain pages. So you could have code fire on every page of your website or only on certain pages of your website or on segments of your website. And Google Tag Manager is really, really flexible. Before we get too much into it, let's take a second and let's just look at a couple screenshots of what the interface of Google Tag Manager looks like. Let's look at the login screen and let's go through some of the different screenshots inside of Google Tag Managers just so you can get a feel for it. Let's do that now. Okay, so as you've seen, Google Tag Manager allows you to add custom code to pages or multiple pages. And it also allows you to integrate with other things that are already a part of Google Tag Manager. So there might be specific pieces of code that are already set up in there. Gosh, there's so many. A few examples might be things like Crazy Egg, Critio, Firebase Analytics, Google Analytics, Google Consumer Surveys. I mean, the list goes on forever. Microsoft Bing Ads, Pinterest, Quantcast, Quora. There's probably a hundred built-in analytic integrations with Google Tag Manager where basically they've already got a system built into Tag Manager so you can really easily deploy the code. So what do you do? Well, make sure you install Google Tag Manager on your website. Here's the instructions for that. Once you've done that, make sure you set up all the custom HTML code and already built in integrations that you need to get a high performing website with Google Tag Manager. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something about Google Tag Manager today. Definitely something every website needs, especially if you're running ads, especially if you're trying to set up analytics, you're trying to become a sophisticated digital marketer. Google Tag Manager is a must. Like this video, share this video. I appreciate it. Give me a comment if you have questions. I'll make sure to respond. I'll see you next time.